Jews in the days following the election in 2020 and repeated Trump's big lie. But now, Kevin McCarthy claims that he didn't really like the violence at the Capitol. Kevin McCarthy is gaslighting the American people. Kevin McCarthy is gaslighting his constituents and his voters. And we say, no more lies! We are here to call out Kevin McCarthy and hold him accountable. When Kevin McCarthy claims that he didn't so much like the violence at the Capitol, he is trying to, he is only saying that because of his own part in leading to that violence and because he consistently puts his loyalty to Trump over the principles of our Constitution. So, what, what we want to say about that is that when Kevin McCarthy, following the insurrection, went to Mar-a-Lago to meet with Trump, Kevin McCarthy led Republicans in Congress in validating what Trump did at the Capitol that day by inciting the insurrection. Kevin McCarthy is guilty of validating Trump's insurrection. Kevin McCarthy's lies led to the violence. Kevin McCarthy is lying because he wants to keep getting money from corporate donors. We say, enough! We are so much better than that. America is so much better than that. Our democracy is so much better than that. Our democracy deserves so much more than Kevin McCarthy's corruption. Our democracy deserves so much more than Kevin McCarthy attempting to undermine the Constitution for loyalty to Donald Trump. So, we are here today to say, we've had enough. Repeat after me. We've had enough. We demand accountability. We demand accountability. We demand accountability for Kevin McCarthy. Prosecute Trump. Save our democracy. Pass the Freedom to Vote Act. Pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Accountability now. Accountability now. Accountability now. Thank you so much. I know we've gone a bit over my time, so I want to um, introduce Larry Pisante from the Dolores Huerta Foundation. Woo! I want to thank patriotic millionaires and Hazmat America and the Dolores Huerta Foundation and everybody here for being here today. A year ago today, a sitting president of the United States incited an attack on Congress, a co-equal branch of government. This was a sudden, violent, and illegal seizure of power from a government. This, you looked up that definition of coup d'etat, that's what you read. A sudden, violent, and illegal seizure of power. And this was not an isolated situation. They spent months undermining this election before the first vote was cast. They said, well, if he doesn't win, it must have been rigged. And in the aftermath of that, we are seeing a total revision of history. I don't like to be fooled or manipulated. And I know you don't like to be fooled or manipulated. But Kevin McCarthy, my representative, is manipulating and lying to us. Okay. It is not acceptable on any level. And let's not forget that Mr. Morgan right over there, he took an iconic photograph last year at exactly this time in front of our county office of administration of people waving confederate flags confederate hey. flags never in the entire civil war did a confederate flag fly in our capital but it flew on january 6 2021 it was the worst attack on our capital 
since the British burned it down in 1814. 140 police officers were injured. Five people died. Four people, police officers, committed suicide after this attack in the last year. We cannot forget these facts. And I think the best analysis I read, and I read a lot this week, said that the implications of January 6th are profound for all of us. Because, quote, once a country's institutions, laws, norms, and unstated red lines are violated, and there is no more truth, only versions of it, and no more trust, only polarization, getting back those norms is almost impossible. We need to start acting as though we are under threat from a pernicious, anti-democratic, and violent minority because we are. Tonight we stand with Americans across race, place, party, and background, because we all know what would have happened if on January 6th it had been people of color storming that Capitol. We are here to light candles and stand in solidarity with one another to remember the truth, to hold accountable people like McCarthy who try to lie to us and manipulate us and to reaffirm our commitment to nonviolent action and democracy. And most of all, we're here tonight to say, in America, the voters decide who wins elections. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. I'm going to pass this back over to my colleague Jasmine to give further instructions for press. Oh, can you see her? Thank you. Convicted of felonies 
for their actions are not patriots or political prisoners. They are criminals. So Kevin, can you hear us? Yeah, we're getting rid of you, Kevin. You are going down with all your little friends. Woo!